Hi, I'm Jane Ant with Solo with ExpertVillage.com. And I'm Andrew Stubblefield. Welcome back. We're going to teach you a great game today. This is called the Alphabet Game. What I love about this game is anyone can play this. You at home can play this. You can play this with your kids. Kids can play it with each other. Anyone, you can play it walking down the street. It's a very simple game, and how it works is we get a suggestion of a letter in the alphabet. Let's say D. We're going to start with the letter D. I'm going to start with my sentence. The first word of my sentence has to begin with the letter D. Then Andrew's going to say a sentence. His sentence has to begin with the letter E. And then I do F, and then he does G, and we keep going on and on until we've gone all the way through the alphabet. So this is a game that anyone can play, and this is called the alphabet game. Andrew, what can we use to start off this game? Okay, how about uh, the suggestion of furniture? Furniture. Our scene is going to be something about furniture, and remember it's the alphabet game, and let's start with the letter D. So you follow along, make sure we're doing the alphabet right. Doug, I need you to pick up this couch and move it on down the stairs. Enough, Phyllis. I'm sick of you bossing me around. You want me to lift that up? You gotta tell me something nice about me. Fine, I'll tell you that I really like your hair. Good enough. How easy was that? All I had to do was compliment you on your hair. I got you to lift that thing up. I thought that you did that lovely. Just because we're married doesn't mean that we have to forget about giving compliments to one another. Killing me with words has always been your nicest ability. Loving you is the easiest thing I ever did. Mm -mm, those are some fine words. <laughs> now we better get to moving this furniture. Oh, okay. Please, help me just gather up all these boxes. But listen, don't rush me. I, I can do this. I believe we're on the letter Q. Quite so. <laughs> right you are. So, uh, how did you come across this? This is nice. I never knew you had a pillow made of Elvis's likeness. Took that from my grandma, Dad. Ugh. Never thought something could be so grand. Very well, just put it in the box. Wee doggy, you got some heavy stuff. Xylophone's heavy thing I got. Zounds! Got to skip the letter there. All right, it's okay. We're just teaching a lesson here. Be it may, true enough. <sighs> Compliments to you. And that's the alphabet game, a roundabout way to play. As you can see, I mean, we always didn't necessarily keep to it. And that's the fun of improv, is not everything has to be done the exact format that it's set up to be, as long as it's entertaining and you're having fun doing it. And following the rules.